What you guys, a quick tech news video here for you. Android devices have a secret hidden backdoor for scammers. Back in 2023, researchers found that cheap TV Android streaming boxes were very popular, but they come with some hidden costs because these researchers revealed that tens of thousands of these Android TV boxes were being used in homes, schools and businesses were equipped with a secret backdoor that allowed them to be used as a host of cybercrime and online fraud. Now, the same researchers have found that the China-based ecosystem behind the compromised devices and the illicit activities that they used for collectivity dubbed the Bad Box 2.0 is fueling the next generation campaign that is broader in scope and even more sneaky. At least 1 million of these Android-based TV streaming boxes, tablets, projectors, and other cell uh, car entertainment systems are infected with malware that conscripts them into a scammer-controlled botnet, according to this new research that was shared exclusively with Wired uh, by the cyber security firm Human Security. The compromised devices are also used in a wide range of advertising fraud and so-called residential proxy servers, which allow the operators to use victims' internet connections through routing and masking web traffic. And all of this activity happens behind the scenes without the owners of the compromised devices having any idea of how their streaming boxes are being used. I did a video some time ago about a mini PC from China, and it also come with uh, malware which had backdoor access to that actual device, and I exposed them in my video. And yet some YouTubers... Uh, still do videos on that product claiming that it was only a piece of malware, but in fact it was actually key login software and actually backdoor malware that allowed them to gain access to the device and also collect information, which was quite scary. It also had Redline Stealer on it, which is malware that steals sensitive data, which can lead to be used for other malicious activities, which was not good. And yet the YouTuber that claims to be a technician for over 30 years, continued to defend the company because he was probably being paid by them and he was defending them uh, and also saying all you need to do is format. This is not acceptable and another YouTuber actually made a video in exposing that person, which I thought was the correct thing to do. The person that was promoting uh, this company, who is still promoting the same company that had malware on their devices, actually said all you need to do is format the mini PC and reinstall Windows and the malware's gone. But I think he's missing the point. The point is that that device was being sold with malware on it, and that is bad. So Redline Stealer is no joke. Basically, that's going to harvest your information, and they can use that other information against you and also access your sensitive information and data online, which could be banking and things like that. So it's very, very serious. These TV boxes you're seeing right here are X96 and TV98. I'm not suggesting that all of these have malware on them, but these are the ones that have been listed as Bad Box 2.0, which targets the TV98 and X96 device families. There's different varieties of these. There's tons of them. They're being sold on AliExpress on Amazon and also on eBay. So be very, very careful if you're buying cheap Android TV boxes or any cheap device from China. You just don't know what is on that device. And again, these cheap Android TV boxes can be picked up pretty cheaply for as little as £12 on AliExpress. Now, the researchers have also said the original bad box campaign scammers focused on installing backdoor firmware in the streaming boxes before they arrived in the hands of the consumer. Now, the researchers have also said that uh, the attackers are tricking users into unknowingly installing compromised apps. The way that this is happening, the researchers highlighted a technique in which the scammers create a benign app, say a game, and this is then posted in the Google Play Store to show that that uh, game has been vetted and verified uh, by Google, but then it tricks users into downloading a nearly identical version of that game or app. And this is, of course, not coming from the Google Play Store. It's coming from another source, 
which is obviously then going to be a malicious app or game that you are downloading and this will then be installed onto the box itself now once the consumer installs the malware or installs the app that he thinks is an app or game basically what will happen this runs the ad fraud in the google play version of the app so the human research company also found that the scammers distributed over 200 compromised rebundled versions of the popular mainstream apps as yet another way of spreading their back doors. Now the research company also found four different types of fraud modules. There was two ad fraud ones, one fake uh, click one, and there's also a residential proxy network one, which was pretty bad. So now the scale of the operation is huge. According to Trend Micro uh, Senior Threat Researcher, he's also added uh, that while there are easy up to 1 million devices online for any of the groups, there is only a number of these devices that are currently connected to their platform. So as a consumer, you should keep in mind that if the device is too cheap to be true, you should be prepared that there might be some additional surprises hidden in that device. That comes from Trend Micro themselves. So you've got to be very careful if you are looking for cheap devices like these because you just never know what you're getting when you're purchasing them and this has been going on for a number of years with fake devices uh, also fake uh, hard drives fake micro sd cards and even cheap tv boxes like you see here cheap tablets and things like that you've got to be super careful on what you're purchasing try to buy reputable brands and names and that way you're not going to fall foul to something like this because this is pretty serious stuff. If you did any banking on there, you don't know what's on that device and you could end up, uh, you know, being breached and cause yourself a lot of headache. Anyway, let me know in the comments section down below whether you've got any of these cheap Android TV boxes and whether you've actually scanned it and checked it to see whether there's any malware in there. I'd be interested to read your comments. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. If you haven't joined our new Discord server, the link is in the video description. I shall see you over there for a chat. If not, I shall catch you in the very next video. So thanks again for watching and have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <music>